What's up guys, we're back working on the six liter today. Uh, today we'll be removing the timing gear off of the crank. And to do that, we're gonna be using this uh, bearing separator kit. This one's a Harbor Freight, um, idle number 62593. We will be replacing it with just a factory replacement cloys. And that is part number C3220. Uh, so basically we'll just use this big bearing separator, a few of the extensions. We'll pull it off there. We'll just use this crank bolt to press it back on along with the other one, like this one. We'll press a new one on. We'll use this as a spacer to get it all the way on. It's got a keyway, so can't really mess up putting it on. So we're gonna get to it, guys. All right, guys, so you're just gonna get your bearing separator on there. You just want to make sure you get it behind the teeth so that way you actually have something to pull on. A little tight, so you kind of want to grab as many threads as possible. You're going to thread these in. Thread these pieces in. Start our actual press part. Yeah, I'm sure you could use an impact. I'm just gonna do everything probably just with a crescent. So that's why it's nice and slow. Don't have to worry about messing nothing up. And I left the crank bolt in so that way we actually have something to press into versus going into where the threads are and maybe trashing them up. So we're just gonna work it nice and slow. We got that separator behind them teeth. It's starting to move off of the snout of the crank. And it's free. Now you'll just Move the top half. Slide it out of the way. Unthread your crank bolt. And that's all it takes to remove the timing gear off of the crank. Like I said, it's got a keyway. So that way it can only go back on one way. That's it guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.